Good afternoon. How is everyone? I need to get some slap on the face and get out of this house for a little bit. I've literally just had a morning of just, you know, when you just get all your shit jobs done. So I've got the ironing done. I've cleaned the bathroom. The shit jobs are finished. So I thought, and the 50% sale is still running. So I thought I would come on, come and have a little chat with you. Do a little bit, get a little bit of slap on the face. Um, and then I might just nip out and get the car washed or something. Um, right, I'm going to start off with the Illuminizing Primer. I absolutely flipping, I'm obsessed with this. I could literally have a bath in it. It's amazing. The amount of glow that you get with this is crazy. I think I just got it in my eye. It's like... Think unicorn vibes. This is just, it's like polyfiller. Fills in all your fine lines and wrinkles and gives you this insane, insane glow to your face. I'm just, look at that. Oh, I just, I love it. That's my go-to on the days where I'm not wearing makeup. It's just gorgeous. Now, I'm going to do a bb cream because this is just my sort of daytime natural fresh you know when you're not really going anywhere but you just want to feel a little bit more confident about your skin so this has got spf in it mineral spf is completely different to normal spf so if you're thinking like sticky slidey shiny it's not it's completely different um but spf obviously protects your skin from the uv rays but it also prevents the formation well slows down the formation of fine lines and wrinkles so i'm like all about that anti-aging makeup let's go <laughs> um but i like on a weekend when you're just pottering about i want a bit of something on my face but not necessarily like a full foundation um so bb cream for me is like in the middle you know like when you just want to feel like you've covered up any redness any imperfections but you don't look like you're on a night out it's my daytime look um and it's a nice dewy finish as well which i do really like that kind of healthy glowy look now that i'm in my 40s it's really weird how your taste changes isn't it because when i was in my 20s the thought of my makeup glowing was just like hellish to me i loved the matte poreless like dry look um but now i'm like give me the glow give me give me the glowy vibes um so once that is on like that is just so quick and easy to do i'm just obsessed now i do use a lot um the color sticks because i find these are really good for like adding a little pop of color to your face i'm gonna see if i can find a belly bronzed one so i've been using this darker one because we're not getting any sun in the uk are we so i've been using this to like add a little bit of bronze to my face now i tend to it's like a three under the jawline under your cheekbone and just around your forehead it's like wherever the sun would hit your face if there was any you know like let's just warm everything up a little bit um and then actually i use the same brush as my foundation because i like to keep things easy and then just take that down just gives you a little bit of definition a little bit of warmth to your skin um, and then i'm going to use like a pink shade i think in fact shall we go with like a corally color today just for a little bit of something different um ooh, let's go juicy apricot now i tend to bring blush a little bit higher now that I'm 40, like it used to be down here, that's how they used to tell you how to do it. But since I've turned 40, I think putting your blush that little bit higher lifts everything up, which is what we're all about. Lift, lift and blush. I 
and then just blend it up and it just gives you that gorgeous lift gorgeous pop of colour but also lifts everything which is what in our forties we're all about the lift we are not about like they used to you used to get told to put it on the ball of your cheek didn't you and bring it up but in all honesty in your forties that isn't going to do anything for you at all um it's a little bit the same with concealer um i sometimes well a lot of the time i'm just using a color stick under my eyes but I do see like a lot of girls doing like a full concealer V shape under your right. Now, do you know what? If you're 20 and that is what you want to do, that's great. If you're in your 40s, you probably only need if that. And then just blend it out with your finger. Just tap it. Because what you'll find is if you put too much concealer under your eye in your 40s it'll look good for about 10 minutes and then when you check it in the mirror in about an hour you'll be like oh my god what is going on it you'll be able to see it sitting in all your fine lines and wrinkles so less is more when you've turned 40. I think it depends how good the skin is sort of holding up under your eyes it's you know, I've obviously laughed a lot, <laughs> cried a lot, all of the things. And this is like the most sensitive area on your face, to be honest. It's not, um, it's a natural thing that your skin under your eyes is, you know, showing the signs of age a little bit. And it's just about you adapting your makeup. You know, like we don't stay, our taste doesn't stay the same all our life. Um, our clothes don't stay the same all our life and our makeup shouldn't either. Um, if you keep trying to do the same makeup from when you were 20, it's not going to look the same. You've got to like adapt and with concealer, a little bit in the corners and then just pat with either a brush or your finger. It's going to look so much brighter. It's going to stay fresher. You're not going to look in the mirror and see it all caked and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that is my tip. Um, now, these... I'm going to do these easy eyes because I'm a little bit obsessed with them at the moment. Little, let me just put a little bit of primer on so it stays on. Um, but I've been using these a lot when I'm going to work because I just love the ease of them. Um, so these are a eyeshadow colour stick, right? And like I'm not even messing, they last for tw 10 to 12 hours. And they come in some absolutely stunning colours. And you can just colour in your eyelid. Is that like the ultimate hack for a busy woman? You know, if you're going out for your tea after work and you've just got base makeup on, you can just pop one of these in your bag and you've got this amazing glittery gold eyeshadow. That's took you like 2.5 seconds to do. Add a bit of mascara and you've switched from like your office makeup to like going out for your tea. Like super easy, just stick eyeshadow stick in your bag and your mascara in your bag. You can transform your whole look in five minutes. Um, so let's do, I'm going to pop on a little bit of quadra with this. So this is a little bit different to your normal mascara. This is the four in one. So this is the all singing, all dancing, it's going to grow your own lashes back. So I use this quite a lot because it's a four in one. It's a lash serum, lash primer, tubing, which protects and conditions your lashes. And it's a mascara. So there's nothing like this on the on the planet. On the planet? That was a bit dramatic. There's nothing else on the market um, like this. We've actually even had it patented because it was developed by Unique. Um, and the results that you get in 12 weeks are just phenomenal. So if you are someone who's like damaged your lashes through doing semi-permanent ones and you're really wanting to nourish them back to life, this is the food. This is like lash food. 
Um, now, when you're applying it, there's a lot of product in here, so you don't need to... You've got two sides to your wand. You've got these long bristles and you've got small silicone ones. You don't need to re-dip into your tube. You just turn it over and do the small silicone bristles on the other side. And that will pick up all those little individual lashes and it'll let you get right into the inner corner. Which gives a more fuller kind of lash if you get right into the inside corner and you get these ones on the outside as well. A lot of people do miss these on the edges. Hey June, good afternoon. Hey Leonora. Oh my um who's watching thing must have been delayed there sorry leonora if you're still here hi um so yeah let me show you so you get two different sides to there now i always do the backs of my lashes first just because they're so super blonde and then i bring it around the front so i'm going to give it a nice even coat of that serum but yeah i'd never heard of a tubing mascara before i thought it meant the tube in the tube that your mascara goes in and they're like no lisa go google you need to go do your research tube and mascara basically it wraps around every single individual it's very very clever technology it wraps around every single individual lash and conditions it um and locks in that growth serum so it's very very clever way more yeah, and there's me thinking it meant the tube. Right, so turn it over so that you get these little silicone bristles and that just picks up and make sure you're coating all those little ones in between. Um, you know, like in between the bigger lashes. And it lets you get a little bit closer into your inside there so you get this really nice wispy looking lash that's a growth serum so this is not something that you're putting on to get your most dramatic lash ever but you're getting a decent daytime natural looking lash and it's going to grow your lashes over 12 weeks so um yeah if you are trying to repair damaged lashes this is absolutely amazing for that now, I don't usually wear mascara on the bottom, but because this is a lash treatment system, I'm going to make sure I coat those bottom lashes as well. There we go. Right, I'm feeling a little bit like I look more like a human and not like, you know, when you've been cleaning or washing all day and you look in the mirror, you're like, right, I need to stop and sort that out because, yeah, enough's enough. Um, and today... My oldest was like, can I have an egg parata? I'm fasting. Can I have an egg parata? And I'm like, yes, you can't. You know, when you're fasting and you're cooking for someone else, I can't even. It's like you can taste the, sm the smell. You can taste it. It's like torture. Anyway, right. I'm going to do a different scarf today. So I... I've been wearing the loose wrap around one the last couple of days, but today it's had to go in the wash that one. Um, so I'm going to try a different one today because I'm going to go out to the shop and I'm going to take the car through the car wash. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to, I decided the other day I wanted to try with the scarf again. Um, so this is like day three. So I'm going to, yeah. Day three, I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a streak with wearing the scarf. So when you're doing like a low turban style, um, I always find it stays in place better if I put, um, put a layer underneath and make the shape of the turban at the bottom with it. So I'm going to use this sort of plain brown scarf first. And I'm going to put that... Now, the one that goes on first, I keep both ends the same length um, and I bring it right up to here. And I pull it quite tight and I'm going to cross over with those two sides of the scarf. So, 
then I've got these two sides really tight. This used to stress me out so bad. Till I found a couple of styles that I can do and a couple of ways of cheating like that grey one. Um, but it used to stress me out something ruthless, honestly. Whenever I needed to put one on to go anywhere, it used to do me head in. Um, right, so then I'm going to take this side first. And I'm going to create like that bun at the bottom by just wrapping it round my hair bobble. And if anybody's got any, um, you know, different, more trendy styles, please let me know. Because I tend to wear the same couple all the time because them are the only ones I know how to do. Um, so if you see any styles that you think would suit me and you fancy having a laugh and getting me to do them live, um, let me know. Send me some pictures. <laughs> right, get the other side and then I wrap it the other way. So this is going the opposite direction to the other one. And just underneath and around. And then I just tuck it in to the side of that bun. Um, yeah, right, let's get the blue one. So this is the one that you're going to see on the top because I've got a blue jumper on today. So let's go with a blue scarf. Now this time I keep, I get, it's not like even at each side. I've got like a shorter end and a longer end. So I'm going to just bring that down at the back and cross it over again. There we go. So you end up with one shorter end and one long end. So you do the shorter end first and wrap that round the bun that you've created. And then you start to loosen this side out. Like that. And then just bring it over just chuck it over the other side there we go This is quite a quick one to do as well, really. So then you just wrap that underneath the bun, opposite direction. And again, I just tuck it underneath the bun itself so that you're not needing any clips or anything like that. Just tuck it into itself like that. And there we go, another easy one, easy-ish, I don't know, it's not perfect but it'll do, you'll have to let me know which you prefer, like this one or the loose style that I had on the other day, right, we're done, um, I'm going to pop on a little bit of the lip plumper. I'm obsessed with this. It's got a need. A little bit of colour. Not too much and that's going to plump my lips at the same time as well. It's kind of like the natural way to plump your lips. I've not ventured down the world of fillers or anything like that now. I tend to stick to um, natural things. So potty, lip plumper, 
is the way to go for me. It's got peppermint oil and it just gives you like a, a little bit of a tingle to your lips. Um, not like a painful sting, just like a pepperminty tingle. And that just plumps your lips in off the natural way. I mean, it's not going to look like filler because it's not. Um, but if you're not into that and you want something that's just going to give you a little bit of a natural plumping look, hotty might be what you need. Right, ladies, have an amazing afternoon. I have still got tons and tons of stuff in the 50% off sale, including brushes like the blusher brush, the... Um, foundation brush, foundations, there's tons of stuff in there and the 50% off. So um, what I'll do is I'll link the um, Last Chance Deals sales so that you can have a little um, gander. And yeah, grab yourself some bargains while they're cheaper. New stuff I always feel, I don't know about you, but I always feel like treating myself when it's cheaper. You know, like it feels like better when it's cheaper. Um, so yeah, there's loads and loads of stuff in that 50% off sale. Um, and if you've been watching um, my stories recently, you've been watching some of the wellness supplements that I take, um, the Trim Fit is 50% off at the moment in a little in a little Easter bundle so um check that out or comment wellness if you want the information on that um so yeah it's a natural trim fit is a natural appetite suppressant fat burner it gives you an amazing boost of energy it's not jittery you don't get the crash in the afternoon and it's all natural ingredients so just for today you can get it 50% off with the pro probiotic so just drop a wellness in the, in the comments because I've also got a code for those supplements so if you do want them you'll get whatever discount there already is plus you can use my code and get an extra 15% off which is kind of cool and um, so yeah have an amazing afternoon and I will link the last chance sale in case you want to grab something I'll see you soon